In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to install a ceiling fan using a saddle box. Stay tuned. All right, thanks. You will need a pair of pliers with wire cutter feature on them. And don't forget to smash that like button. Utility knife. Tape measure. A driver. And a skill saw. So this is what the saddle boxes come in. And then inside. You just got the actual box itself. And that's why it's called saddle, because this looks like a saddle on a horse, but it goes up like this. So the first thing you'll want to do is determine where the ceiling fan's going, of course. So in this particular room, we're going for the center, so we know this window center so is going to go right between these trusses. So I'm going to cut a block to fit between there, because that saddle box hooks over a 2x4. So let's cut a block. 21 and 5 eighths. So I found the center of the room, and you want to mark that on each truss, and then you'll want to take screws and get them started right in the side of this two by four. So after you anchor your block, you need to make sure it's structurally sound. I think it is. I think it'll work. So there's our center mark. Just line that up in the center. Push it on. Get it lined up pretty damn close. So it looks pretty good. Then it has a little screw already preset for us. And there it's anchored. Now these bolts come out. I just keep them in the plastic for now. But once your drywall's up and you're getting ready to hang your ceiling fan, you take these bolts that come with it out they go up in each hole here and that catches the block that we just put up right like that so when you wire a ceiling light fan combo which that's what I put in all the bedrooms you want to use 12 3 wire so that way you have just one neutral two hots one hot to the fan one hot to the light Okay, now we got our 12-3 wire up here. Let's 
kind of hard to see, it's kind of dark, but just punch out one of these. Break it loose. Then just push it right through there. Keep it curled up in the box to kind of keep it protected when the drywall hangers are hanging. And then you want to take a wire staple about right there. Back here, and staple, pull your wire in here, cut the length, and then staple it, and that's all there is to it.